The following presentation is available in 4K. In today's video, we'll take a closer look at the gameplay of the latest shipping version of The Addams Family. We'll also take a look at the differences between the Chicago Pinball Expo model and the production model, along with a few surprises. I'm John, and welcome to Wagner's Tech Talk. Perhaps the number one question I've received since the EVT series has completed, the Chicago Pinball Expo occurred, and the SSF kit demonstration video was created is, how is the performance of the Adams Family? Well, just to briefly recap, back on October 19th of 2023, we took a look at the Adams Family with an early version running at the Chicago Pinball Expo 23. Zen Studios and the Ek Games team worked hard to get it working for the show. However, as mentioned in that video and by other content creators, performance improvements were indeed needed. The machine I'll be using for demonstration here is in fact one of the first models from the production line. Actually, if we take a closer look at the builder's plate, which by the way you'll notice is now in the middle and built into the coin door, as requested by the community. The builder's plate on this unit is 00001 and was manufactured on December 28, 2023. That's pretty cool, but how did that happen? Well, there were a handful of production machines that were air freighted to verify and ensure that what you receive is absolutely the highest quality possible. This happens to be one of those units. Each unit underwent extensive analysis and testing by several teams. Make no mistake, this is the final production model, and there are many more being manufactured, packaged, and preparing for shipment. Before we go over the Adams Family table itself, let's first take a look at what's different between this machine and the Chicago Pinball Expo 23 model that you may have already seen. As we briefly discussed, the coin door was off-center. This was to make room for the new builder's plate. After seeing close-up images of the front of the machine, the community requested that to be changed and at games listen to your feedback. This is what it looks like now. The coin door is now completely centered to the cabinet. The topper was another thing that was brought up and many wanted a light up topper and here are a few comments that are received on that video. Again, at games listen to you and the topper is now illuminated. Many didn't want the At Games Legends 4KP logo at the top of the back glass. Again, this was changed to look like this. Those were the main comments that the community asked for. And while they were making changes, they also took things a step further and added a nice aesthetic change of adding a customized speaker grill cover that reflects the theme of the pinball machine. A few things that I'd like to mention about this model, it does not have the SSF kit pre-installed. So all audio that you're going to hear is coming directly from the two built-in speakers. This is different from the Pinball Expo version and I want to make you aware of it. There is an obvious reason for this. That is, I plan to create instructions for you both on my website and a video to demonstrate how to install the SSF kit yourself. Huge thank you to At Games for allowing this to happen. So if you didn't pay to have the SSF kit pre-installed, help us on the way. Now that we have identified the main things that have changed since the Pinball Expo model, it's time to take a closer look at the gameplay of the Adams Family. Let's take a look at the Adams Family gameplay with some brief commentary. The most common question I've seen in regards to gameplay is, can you turn off the floating scores, the ball trails, and visual extras? The answer to this is yes, with the production machines. You simply press the At Games or Menu button, navigate down to Settings, and select the settings you want to enable or disable, and press the Play button. Then go back once you're done. We'll start off with all the options turned on, that is, all effects, ball trails, and floating scores. How you set up the table to play is totally up to your own preference. I'll show you without all options enabled momentarily, but first we'll leave them all on. The first portion will be edited segments of playing the Adams Family with all options enabled. 
After that, I'll play a full game in its entirety at the end of this video with no voiceovers or any alterations. That is the best way to demonstrate exactly how the table performs. I will warn you though, the game is about 10 minutes long. I won't edit anything out. The only edits that were done are to position the back glass and the playfield on the screen so you can see it, and two separate cameras were used to record the gameplay. The playfield in 4K and the back glass in DMD in HD. Let's check out some of the gameplay with all the settings turned on. Welcome, honored guest. wondering how much better is the gameplay now versus the Chicago Pinball Expo 23 machine. In my opinion it's substantially better. The reason why I say that is that I had a hard time playing the version from Pinball Expo. The frame rate overall felt lower than 60 FPS. I missed shots that I was pretty sure I didn't really miss and I don't get that feeling with this version. It feels like 60 FPS and responds as such. Funny I should say that right when I drain the ball. <laughs> I played a better game of The Addams Family on the Legends Pinball 4K P than I ever did when playing over OTG connected to a PC. Zen Studios and Act Games have done an impressive job bringing this table to the 4K P. The images, animation, and gameplay look great. That's not to say it's perfect. The plunger tracking, more specifically, while good, needs some tuning. That is, sometimes with all the effects turned on, the animation of the golf club and ball seems to get lost. But you can turn that off if it's distracting. When comparing flipper latency, there was no difference between OTG or directly on the machine. Both reported exactly 116 milliseconds, or nearly one-tenth of a second response time, from the time my finger began to leave the button and the time the flipper began to move. <laughs> With this version, I can play a good game, actually the best I've ever played. I did manage to beat my OTG high score by a long shot, hitting 156 million in a nearly 12 minute game. I don't know how good that is compared to others. The leaderboards will be enabled as part of the day one update. We'll discuss the update in an upcoming video, and we'll also take a look at the unboxing, assembly, and basic getting started details in that video. If you haven't already, click the subscribe button below so you won't miss it. There will be a number of 4KP related updates coming as soon as I can get them completed. <laughs> I want to thank you for watching. Please let me know in the comments below your thoughts and opinions of what you saw here. I'll end this video by playing a full game, unedited, as we discussed. This should give you a good idea of just how well this table plays. Thank you for watching, and I look forward to talking with you again very soon.
In this segment, we'll play a full game without interruption, but first we'll turn off loading scores, ball trails, and visual extras. There will be no commentary throughout the remainder of this video.
Thank you, baby. 